Is space something or nothing? Is it a created substance or a construct of the mind to measure distance? In other words, if hypothetically you were to vacuum all matter and energy from space, would there be something left, what we call space, or would there be nothing? Or is nothing actually something? Similar inquiries can be made about whether zero is a real number, darkness simply the absence of light, cold the absence of heat, and evil the absence of good. Do these conditions of zero, dark, cold, evil, and space actually and substantially exist, or are they relative privations of being for which we create words to aid our experience? Let's go further. If space bends, as Einstein theorizes, and it constantly expands, as astrophysicists claim, wouldn't that make space something? Yet, if we were to propose the hypothetical of God creating only space without any matter or energy, would it even be intelligible? We know God is outside of time and space, and the divine life of grace he offers also transcends these boundaries. Nonetheless, in the fullness of his presence after the general resurrection, when the universe is transformed and the body glorified, will there be any sense of space? In a recent minute, we speculated that time and heaven may be transformed. Perhaps we could say the same thing about space. After all, Aquinas taught agility is a characteristic of the glorified body, which will enable saints to move through space rapidly with ease at the command of the will. So whether space is a substance of the created order, or exists in heaven, are mysteries of physics and theology. Pondering these questions reveals the mystery of the human soul, and its desire to understand. And that's your Murano Minute, offering you a safe space to think beneath the surface.